Hey everybody, what is up? Welcome to This Week in IMO Gaming. Sorry, it's not actually on Monday. I said I would get it out on Monday, but uh, Valentine's Day happened and all this other stuff happened. But I've got it out now, and that's what's important. Because I got a little couple things to talk about here. First of which, what happened since the last weekly video on this one? I streamed a couple of times, and it was actually a lot of fun. You know, the first time we got like 15, 20 people showed up. It was, it was really great. You know, we had a really great conversation going. I streamed for a few hours, and then I think the next night I streamed again. And this time we got up to like 31, and I haven't, I haven't honestly reached 31 viewers in a long time since my Destiny days back in 2014, at least on my channel. I mean... In the past, I streamed a lot. I streamed almost every day on my Twitch channel because I am partnered, believe it or not. I, I, I had a week when I was playing Destiny that I had like 300, 400 viewers every day consistently. And that was enough to get me partnered. But that kind of dwindled a few weeks afterwards. And, and ever since then, I've been in the 10 to, well, not even, I'd say around an average of 5 to 10 viewers. But, you know, to, to reach those numbers again and have so many people to talk to, I was always talking to people in chat. I was always interacting. It was a blast, and that's that, that is my favorite way to interact with all of you. Um, just live like that, where I can just talk to everybody, you know, and, and just really just back to back to back, comment to comment to comment, talk to you guys. It's a lot of fun. And comments here on YouTube are great, but they're just so slow and, and almost impersonal in the way that you go about it. But uh, through live streams, it's just so much fun. So I really enjoyed that, and I look forward to streaming again over this next week, at least a couple of times, especially during the launch of the open beta of The Division, as well as the day before, when, I, when, I, when I'll be playing this indie game that's uh, it's got a lot of roguelike features, and it should be really fun. And if you watch on the 18th, that's when I'll be streaming that, uh, you have the opportunity to win the game yourself. Small little indie game from Tiny Build, and it's gonna be a lot of fun. Twitch.tv slash Pinto, make sure you're there. If I don't end up streaming it for whatever reason, then I'll let you guys know via Twitter, but apparently, uh, every five levels that I travel down in the game, uh, it, it shoots out a Steam code for the game um, just in chat, so make sure you're watching, keeping an eye on that chat, and uh, you know, copy paste that code as fast as you can to win it. Because uh, I think I think that'd be really cool, and it's uh, it's a really cool thing that Tiny Build is doing, and I'm really glad they included me, even though I'm you know nowhere huge. You know what I'm saying? But aside from streaming uh, on Friday before I do play some of the Division Open Beta and stream some of it, I actually at 9:30 in the morning have an interview uh, at Taco Bell. And it'll be the first, you know, like, job job that I've had in uh, more than a few years, to be honest. Uh, which I'm, I'm, like, both excited and nervous about. But, I mean, it's Taco Bell. It won't be, like, too hard. It'll just be, you know, fast-paced. But I'll be making, you know, good food for good people, hopefully. And if I get hired, that is. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna jazz up myself. You know, I'm gonna be wearing a nice sweater with a, you know, with a, with a nice collar. And have my hair all gelled up and shit. And... I'll give him a good, uh, I'll give him a good interview for sure, and hopefully I get it. You know, if not, now I'll apply, probably apply to McDonald's. I'm not, I'm not looking for crazy work here, bottom of the barrel stuff, uh, part time honestly, but that's because my my girlfriend will be doing like a lot of the full time work while I do part time and do YouTube videos and stream, uh, when I'm not working. So that's kind of the plan going forward with that, and it's uh, it's pretty exciting overall. And of course, last but not least. I will have my video, a special division video, on probably, I'm going to shoot for Saturday, uh, Sunday at the very, very latest, but it's a video talking about the division, specifically 10 reasons why the division will fail, but I'm not going to be the one saying the division will fail. No, I'm doing this with a, in a collaboration with my good friend, So Dope Stavi, or as you may know him on YouTube, Stavi, part of the War, Warband Network. And he's a really cool, really cool guy. Uh, he has a YouTube channel. Uh, it's, it's like mine in a lot of ways. He's a very cool guy. I've known him for years. And he'll be doing the voice of the troll. So he'll be reading out the reasons. And I'll be debunking uh, said reasons 
uh, you know, we'll just go down the list that way. So he'll give his reason, then I'll give my counter reason, and then he'll move to the next one. And there's ten of them, and they're all really stupid and silly and awesome. These ten reasons I found uh, on Reddit. This, this this guy like compiled the list of reasons that he heard on the Destiny subreddit about why the game will fail, and they're really stupid and great. So I hope you guys enjoy that video and enjoy the collaboration. This is like the first ever collaboration I've done, and I look forward past this point to not not only doing more collaborations with Stavi, but doing uh, these same type of collaborations with more YouTubers who would like to fill in that role of the troll when somebody else can. On the gaming side of things, I've been playing a lot of Fallout 4, still really enjoying it, and even more so now that the graphics have been upgraded on the console, and by that I mean the newest update increased the draw distance, but I did talk about that a little in my previous video. I'm also really excited for the DLC! They finally announced it, or at least the first three DLCs coming out. Now the first one basically gives you the ability to craft a custom robot buddy that follows you around like, you know, like your dog would normally. Uh, but so that's really cool and there's apparently like a bunch of different parts that you can customize and swap out like different weapons or different like armors oh that's gonna be freaking awesome and then for the second DLC it was something like being able to like capture raiders or death claws and then like tame them or something and then you have the ability to create a I guess like a coliseum of sorts where you can pit you know two beings against each other whether it be like a, you know a death claw versus a settler or something i mean that sounds amazing and i could envision this whole entire video series based on that idea you know where i could just like pit two random uh creatures against each other that are based on what you guys want it'll be like a vote or, or, or random or something and then i'll put them together and make a video about it and we'll like watch it. Be, that'd be freaking awesome. So I'm definitely getting that one for sure. I'm getting the first two DLCs for sure. And then the, th and then the third DLC is apparently this whole nother uh, smaller continent maybe. Or some, some kind of alternate land. Much like the Dragonborn DLC for Skyrim. So that sounds like there's a lot of content in that one. It's definitely more expensive. However, I don't quite agree with them increasing the price of the season pass. From $30 to $50? Because, I mean, as of right now, all three DLCs that they've announced add up to 40 bucks. And I know that they said there's going to be $60 worth of DLC content. But shouldn't the season pass be more like, I don't know, 40 45 at the most? Because, you know, a $50 season pass for $60 worth of DLC, why should I even bother? Yeah, I should, I honestly would feel better about just all buying it all separately. Thank God there are no season pass only perks, you know? Jesus, God, I've had, I've had enough of that shit with the Division. But, <laughs> I don't mean to open that can of worms or anything. I like the Division, I am excited for it. Um, probably more than some people. I really want it to succeed. I will be, I will be really bummed if it fails. Not as bummed as I was with Destiny, but bummed nonetheless. So, all in all for this week, guys, expect me streaming on Thursday. Friday and possibly on the weekend you can expect a new video possibly tomorrow more likely on Friday and definitely one on Saturday so hopefully two videos between now and Sunday before I end this I want to quickly apologize for any like squeaky nose breathing that you might be hearing during my videos I don't know what's up with that I breathe through my nose a lot um, maybe that's what's causing it I don't know I'll clean it out sometime or something but Thank you for watching the video, guys. I greatly appreciate it. Please like it on your way out. Feel free to comment down below if you're not feeling too shy. Let me know what you think about this coming week for gaming, for videos, for life. Whatever you want to tell me, I'm cool with it. Give me your opinion because, hey, everybody has an opinion, right? Thank you again for watching, guys. And I will see you all next time.